Okay, I found a fallen tree. This this trunk right here is totally dead. Um, the bark's just falling off of it. Don't look like it has very many uh, bug holes or anything in it. So, and I've sawed into it a little bit. It's totally dry wood. And it's a pretty straight six foot long piece. I think I can get out of that. Got it. We got home. I got a piece that's probably about 64 inches. So it's got a little bit of a bend, maybe a tiny bit of a twist. Uh, one end has a, a hole rotted into it, but it don't go very deep. I'm actually going to split it right here with that crack and see if I got something that I can work with. Uh, on one side, let's see, one side it's got a lot of checks and cracks in it. Uh, I don't know what that's going to look like when we get in here, but we'll split it up and see what it looks like. Got it split. Um, that's what I got. This end is beautiful, but that rotted hole went all about halfway through this this log. Um, this one right here, I think that's so deep. I may be able to get some skinny piece of wood out of there that's decent, um, but I don't know if I'll be able to do anything with it. This one, I'm still kind of hopeful that I can salvage it. I'm not sure how far, how deep that goes, but I kind of think I may be able to get a bow out of that. Well, I got all the bark uh, peeled off of it and I scraped it down with the draw knife and it is beautiful wood. Very few imperfections. And that's not too bad. It's got some little drying checks in it. Um, but they're tiny. Uh, after I go down and chase a ring, I'm gonna get down so much, I don't even think they'll be there anymore. major twist to it i've several times i heated it and tried to straighten it and i've steamed it and straightened it and i still could never get all the twist out of it and i thought it was just too much to even work with honestly i didn't i even i put it up quit working on it all together um anyway uh the other day i decided to go ahead and get it out and just see if i could you know just see what it would do i knew it was gonna be crooked but i thought hey it might might be okay so it turns out, hey, it, it's doing great. It don't look that good. I didn't put much effort into the handle or anything, but um, it's really strong. I'm gonna, you see it's still got a pretty bad curve to it, um, but I kind of think it's beneficial. I've shot a few arrows out of it, and honestly, I think the arrow clears the bow much better because of that twist. Uh, I hadn't really decided which way I want to orient. Uh, this is gonna be the upper limb, this is gonna be the lower limb. Uh, I think it shoots better like that. Uh, the other way, it sh seems to shoot fine, but the arrow whips. Like I think it's got to go around around this uh, riser too much. However, this way, it's almost like it's, it's pointed dead on. I think I shoot a really heavy spined arrow, and uh, it's a really strong bow. In fact, we're gonna go put it on the scale and see what it pulls. Uh, here it is, strung up. Tiller it as even as I can, given all the curves and weird places on it. Um, I think it's pretty good. Uh, sometimes it looks like there's a little bit of a hinge right here, but it's just because this knot makes it look that way, I'm pretty sure. I mean, I've, I've done, I've put my little Tiller and Gizmo on here. I've measured all the way down, and it's pretty even as of right now. So um, I might do a little more to it, but I'm going to shoot it a lot before I do anything to it and kind of give it a chance to settle in. Um, it's kind of plain. I mean, nothing special about it. It's actually... Not bad, I don't guess. Sixty one pounds at twenty seven inches. That's my draw length. Not too bad.
Okay. All right, it's finished. Uh, it's pulling 61 pounds at 27 inches. Uh, totally made from a dead tree. Just a dead fall in the woods. Didn't have to wait on it to season. It's actually doing really well. There's not, there's not a whole lot of woods that I would recommend um, doing that with, by the way. Uh, most of them will have bug damage pretty quick. Even this Osage had some bug holes, but this piece right here seems to be pretty clean. Anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you hadn't already. See you next time.